Hmm, very, very interesting topic there, depression and suicide. Um, joining me here in the studios to talk about um, this um, are Nuong Falong, who is a journalist and presenter, among other things, here at uh, Media General. She's the creator of the documentary. And right beside her is Dr. Frank Benning, the director of Pantang Hospital. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Amazing. Uh, very, very interesting topic. Nuong, let's start with you. What, what motivated you to even, you know, create a documentary about, about depression mental and health. mental health? Yeah. Um, in June, mm -hmm. I, I lost a friend oh. to suicide. And uh, this was a very good friend. Mm. And the, the most confusing part was that I spoke to him that day. Mm. I spoke to him several times. And he, he mentioned, you know, he, was having, he had been suffering for over 10 years. Wow. Um, we talked about it. I gave him some numbers to call. Mm -hmm. Uh, some doctors, resource people, mm -hmm. and he, he's, he did agree that he was going to do something about it. And by 6 p.m. he's dead. Wow. You know, so I think it was mainly from, to, to help myself understand mm -hmm. what he was feeling mm -hmm. um, and what led him to that. Mm -hmm. And just to understand mental health in general, because I realized I didn't know much about the subject yeah. and so I decided to do this to do this but did, did, did he tell you what what exactly was wrong with him that he was depressed or what exactly it was he had been erratic for for um, let's say over from 2007 okay so that's about 12 years mm. um, he had seen a few therapists okay. and some doctors okay. and it wasn't working for him okay. sometimes he's on medication for a while mm. he goes off um, he feels okay mm. and then it comes back Mm. you know uh, after a bit. a bit so he was a swing case yeah. he, you know it would come it would go and he had no control yeah. you know over when it would come and when it would go yeah. oh wow well, dr painting sometimes we throw the word about lightly but what exactly is depression we want so, to understand that before we get into it thank you so um basically depression is a mental disorder mm. okay and we need to be careful not to mix it with this everyday uh, reactive responses to situations. Mm. We all get moody sometimes, yeah. we get sad every yeah. now and then because something is not going right or something is not going well. Yeah. Major life events, but we come out of it. Okay. But when you talk about depression, yeah. it's a mental disorder. And the main theme in there is a depressed mood for more than two weeks. Oh, okay. And it comes along in combination with other symptoms. Okay. So it's not on its own. Okay. So okay. what are these symptoms? Some of the symptoms are, like I said earlier, a depressed mood mm. going on for more than two weeks. Exactly. And it's happening like most time of the day, mm. almost every day, mm. that sort of thing. Then there's also this um, a markedly diminished loss of interest in activities. Okay. It could also be loss of pleasure. Mm. Okay, in activities that otherwise you do easily, you take interest yeah. in, they give you the normal pleasure that everybody gets from some activities. Yeah. Okay. And then the other things that come with it, like weight loss. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's not only weight loss, it could be weight gain as well. Okay. You're looking at a change in weight when the person is not dieting. A drastic one. Yes. Like, okay. let's say about 5% of the body weight within a month. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Then their sleep tends to be disturbed. Mm. So it could be they are not sleeping well, or they are sleeping too much. Too much. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you have um, problems with your energy okay. levels. So you seem to be tired most of the time. Okay. Okay. Then there are issues with your thoughts. Okay. In what well, sense? Yes, where you become very desperate, uh, sometimes hopeless. Mm. Uh, sometimes you have these guilt feelings that are not really founded. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then also, they have difficulties with their thinking. So they become indecisive. They are not able to concentrate properly. Mm. They have challenges making decisions. Mm. You know. Then... There's, there's also thoughts of suicide. Mm. It keeps coming up. 
So it sounds like is everything it, is wrong. Exactly. <laughs> is it in every case or? No, the thought of suicide is not with every case. Okay. Indeed, um, when you categorize it, you have mild, moderate, okay. and then severe, based on the number of symptoms you get. Oh, okay. 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 Sometimes they even become psychotic, where they lose touch with reality. Wow. Like you would see in um, something like schizophrenia, okay. which is a very severe form of mental yeah, disorder. So, yeah. Okay. And then in our setting, we tend to see a lot of cases who have these unexplained medical symptoms. Okay this persistent chronic headache okay um, pain here pain there mm. uh, malaise okay you know tiredness yes. you know, all those things mm. it's another category that we tend to okay. um, see so can i self-diagnose can i you know look at all these things that are giving me and say okay i have five out of ten or eight out of ten and so i am depressed or yes indeed um the first two mm -hmm. is called to it, the depressed mood or the, um, the diminished interest mm -hmm. or loss of pleasure. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's key. And then if you have any other two of yeah. the others that we mentioned, yeah. then you're looking at something that is of a, of a mild nature. Wow, okay. All right. Okay. I'm assessing then, myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> then you add two to it, you mm. get into uh, moderate and then you get into severe. Yeah. Okay. But once that suicide attempts, yeah. thoughts and attempts, then yeah. you're looking at something that is severe. severe. Okay. Once you have this complete loss of touch with reality, yeah. then you're looking at something that is severe. severe. Okay. All right. Um, and what are the various types of, um, you know, the severe cases? What, with, with those that you have seen, how have they exactly manifested? Just really quickly. Oh, people are unique and okay. they manifest in different ways. Okay. I mean, but if we're talking about those that are very severe, then yeah. you're looking at those that have come along with um, suicide attempts. Mm. Then quickly becomes an emergency. You yeah. need to make sure that the person is well monitored. There is mm. enough support. Yeah. Uh, most often would admit such a person. Yeah. Okay. okay. When you see one come in and with um, psychosis, which is the loss of touch with reality, reality, then you see that this is something that is very severe. Okay. You need to do something about it. Okay. Okay. Right. When you see one that is gone on for a very long time, mm -hmm. to the extent that it's affected. The person has become dysfunctional. Right. It's actually has aspected almost every sphere of the person's life. Mm. To the point that they probably can't go to work. Wow. Um, they probably can't take care of their home. Okay. Um, especially nursing mothers. Yeah. Mm. Neglect. Yeah. And it tends to affect um, um, the baby in many ways. Wow. The health of the baby. Mm. Okay. When you see things like that, then you, you want to, to think it's cases. very severe. But mm. you see, the truth is about diseases. Yeah. When you see them early, mm -hmm. it's not as scary okay. as we know it could happen when mm. it's severe. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't always be looking at what is severe. We should look at how to prevent it, okay. promote good mental health, and how to prevent it. Okay. And as much as possible, nip it as soon as we see something see that something. is mild. Yeah. All right. Start along. What, what stood out for you throughout <clears throat> this process? Stigma. Mm. Um, the stigma was the big thing for me. Mm. Because there were so many people I spoke to who were having mental health challenges. Mm. There were several people who were my friends, um, people I had worked with mm -hmm. in the past, who admitted to having mental health challenges but did not want to speak on camera. Oh. Um, it, it was very difficult getting people to speak on camera, to own it, yeah. you know, and come out and say that, yes, I have mental why health is, challenges. Why is that? But because people look at them like, oh, ah, Sagi on Oh, wow. You know, yeah, you know, like that, that yeah. is the perception. People have still not gotten to that point where they see mental health as a regular illness. Mm. You know, like you have a mind. Yeah. Every mind has an illness, like everybody has an illness. Yes. You know, um, so the stigma was a huge challenge. There were parents um, who refused to speak. Mm. There were uh, professional people, yeah. you know, who were very fine talking to me. Yeah. But the moment you tell them you want to record it, it, it they just step back, wow. you know. So uh, the stigma was a huge, mm -hmm. huge For challenge. You. Yeah, Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's um, a health, there's supposed to be a suicide um, call center or help, help center. Um, how is, is that functioning? Is that really helping um, with, you know, your cases? It is. It's okay. functional and... Um, a lot of people are calling into it. Indeed, sometimes, I mean, you have to call more than once to be able to get through. Oh, wow. So it's just working. But I think mm. uh, we need to improve upon it. Okay. I mean, you can't just have one 
right. center. I mean, we need to decentralize it. Yeah. This is something that should be in the regions, yes. should be in the districts. Nationwide, yes. People can have easy access mm. to these services. Okay. Okay. And I also, also want to believe that, I mean, the traffic on that line is as a result of we having very few people manning it. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. At okay. the moment, it's just two numbers. But oh. I think these are things that... For the whole be, of Ghana? Yes. Just two numbers. Yes. But there are other NGOs who have similar services. Mm. So, for example, I know Legon, there is a service. Okay. There is a number. I'm not mm-hmm. too sure about the number. Mm. And then even from our hospital, we're also trying to come up with a call line. Okay. Sort of a helpline. Yeah, yeah. Where people can just call, even if you don't have credits, mm. I mean, to be taken care of. Taken care of. Yes. Okay. So... I think uh, it's something that is going to be improved okay. over the year, especially with this year, the um, World Mental Health Day theme being suicide and suicide prevention. Mm. I'm sure we're going to put a lot of um, focus on how on to that. develop these things. I hope um, the Ministry of Health will also take it seriously. When, when is the World Suicide Day? 10th of October. Mm. Yes. You talked about the cure. You, you, so it's actually curable, mental, mental um, illness. Yes. Okay. I Just mean, give us a few ways, and then we we'll advise um, the people at home as well, mm-hmm. those who are in it, um, who think that they can't get help, and then those who are around them as well. Mental disorders are treatable. Okay. Okay. And sometimes when we talk about mental disorders, we make it look like it's all one mm. disease. No. Yeah. I mean, it comes in various forms. There yeah. are many different types of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they are completely treatable. Okay. Just like you have malaria, mm-hmm. and then you have hypertension and diabetes. Okay. Yeah. There are some that you need to be on medication. Okay. Like you would take medicine for hypertension and diabetes. Yeah. You have to take it every day. If you stop taking it, gradually, your sugar will go up. Oh. Gradually, your blood pressure will go up. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that's what happens with the very severe forms. You need to take something like schizophrenia or yeah. psychosis. Mm-hmm. Okay, even then, when we've treated people for a very long time, along the way, we'll be able to stop. But what happens is that once you have suffered it, yeah. your threshold yeah. to a relapse mm. is reduced. Okay. So, major stress and some relapse. relapse. Wow. But at the same time, there are a lot of the disorders yeah. that you will treat and it won't recur again. Oh, okay. So, okay. you take things like you okay. will treat depression, and for some people, it's a one-off thing and it will yeah. never happen again. Okay. Even for psychosis. Right. Some are self-limiting. Okay. By itself, it can go gone. away. And quite often, that is what uh, spiritual people mm, exactly. you know, feed on. Yeah. Easy. Anxiety, uh, same thing. You treat and then it's gone. Mm. And if you take good care of yourself, yeah. good mental health, good healthy lifestyles and mm. things like that, and sometimes these things never... Um, recur again. Recur again. So, last words, um, advice, quick advice for um those watching um quick advice yeah. um well this is actually timely because october is also the the mental health yeah. uh, month so throughout october there are going to be a lot of uh talks and sensitizations yeah. um to ensure that people know what is going on yeah. um also there's a lot of ignorance yeah. around mental health because sometimes people are experiencing symptoms but they yeah. don't even know they don't exactly. they can't recognize that these symptoms are associated with with mental health issues um get help yeah get help that's that's the main thing okay. if you you're confused about your symptoms if you know someone who's yeah. you know showing signs some of us even have friends some days they wake up and they say i'm just tired of life yeah, you right. know you should because take those I'm, things seriously yeah. um take the person to a psychiatrist Yes. Drag the person if you have to to yeah. the hospital. Let them get some kind of care. I'm glad you mentioned the professional because those are the ones that you yes. should move to so yes. that they can help yes. you adequately. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Nuong Falong of Media General and Dr. Bene of Pantang Hospital. I think it's been uh, a good one and I'm sure people, um, our people out there have also learned a thing or two. Don't sleep on it. Help 